The stock has soared more than 50% over the past year, and a stock split is coming later this month. It's not cheap, but is it still tasty? Chipotle Mexican Grill, CMG 2.53%, is a household name for the hungry. The chain that put Fast Casual on the map has consistently grown its reach, serving customers through what's currently three 479 locations and growing. Chipotle is also surprisingly consistent when it comes to feeding its stakeholders. The stock is up 51%, 128%, and 341% over the past one, three, and five years, respectively. This doesn't mean that the chain is perfect. Let's go over the positives and negatives of Chipotle as an investment to see if it's buy, sell, or hold right now. Before we begin, this video is not an investment advice and must do your own diligence. However, with my experience investing for years, the content from this video has a solid research foundation. Check our patron on the description below for an inside members-only access on what are the best buys now. We will also update you on what to sell for gains or to avoid losses. Subscribe to our channel so you will never miss out. By Chipotle, the historical stock gains are impressive, and in the cutthroat restaurant industry, Chipotle is one of the easiest bets to make. It has a cult following that has proven loyal, even as others have taken on its fast casual assembly line approach to provide tasty meals at reasonable price points. Growth has been consistent after seeing its sales soar 26% in 2021, coming out of the understandably suppressed pandemic-related slowdown a year earlier. Revenue rose 14.4% in 2022, 14.3% in 2021, and up 14.1% in the first quarter of this year. Store-level growth remains impressive. Chipotle is eyeing comps in the mid to high single-digit range for this year. Expansion is how that impressive unit-level production turns into double-digit gains on the top line, and the chain expects to add 285 to 315 new restaurants this year. The bottom line is even more impressive. This is shaping up to be the fourth year in a row in which profit growth exceeds the already impressive revenue jumps. Net income has increased by at least 36% in each of the last three years, climbing 23% in the first quarter of this year, which it posted in late April. Analysts see Chipotle's earnings per share rising 24% this year on a 15% increase in revenue. Valuation is often cited as the biggest obstacle for investors. Chipotle isn't cheap. It's trading for 56 times this year's projected earnings and 47 times next year's analyst profit target. The bullish counter here is that Bears said the same thing a year ago, three years ago, and five years ago. You see how well things worked out for those who understood that you have to pay a premium to own a name like Chipotle. However, there's no denying that Chipotle is richly valued relative to traditional market multiples. Another knock on Chipotle is that it has all of its tortilla chips in the same basket. Chipotle has tried to diversify into new concepts. It's given pizza a spin with Pizzeria Locale, burgers through Tasty Maid, and Asian street food via Shophouse. All three failed. It launched a new concept last year, Farmisa Fresh Eatery, as a ghost kitchen hoping to toss premium salads and protein-topped grain bowls. The concept was shuttered in April. The flagship concept is obviously solid, and Chipotle feels it can more than double its current store base without saturating the market. It's still problematic that it hasn't been able to strike lightning in a bottle with a sister concept. Hold Chipotle. Chipotle is scheduled to complete a 50-for-1 stock split later this month, which it announced in March. I didn't list this as a reason to buy because any related pop should be short-lived in nature. Stock splits are zero-sum games but help make it more accessible for options trading. It's probably a good reason to at least hold on at this point until the shares begin trading post-split on June 26. The best reason to hold is that the trend is Chipotle's friend right now. Companies calling employees back to in-office work should benefit the chain which is a favorite lunch spot for workers. Give us a like if you like our video, subscribe and ring the bell to never miss out. Check our patron for an inside look on what are the best buy and sell stocks every week.